Hey guys, Seja here, founder of the School of Evolutionary Herbalism and Organic Unity. And uh, I'm here with uh, Manzanita here growing out on the land and just wanted to take a little bit of time to, to share a little bit about some of the correspondences related to this plant. This is actually a newer plant for me being from Washington. It doesn't really grow too much up there. And down here in Southern Oregon, we see the Manzanitas and the Madrones growing all over here. And this is a really great representative of a plant ruled by Venus. Um, in terms of its morphology, first off, it's an evergreen, so we see these leaves are on the manzanitas year-round. It doesn't drop its leaves, and that is a signature of Venus in the sense that it's really, it's that life and the way that it's producing that color and kind of stimulating our visual sense, even in the winter time here, when most everything else has died back, of course, except for the evergreen trees and things like that. We also see the Venus correspondences in the coloration of the stems and of the flowers. It's kind of incredible that there's some in flower here, but these really beautiful, delicate, pinkish, purple, white flowers and the color of the, um, of the stems here. It's just that, that beauty and that softness that this plant produces um, in its morphology. And then the, even the color of the leaves, these aren't really like deep, vibrant leaves, but they kind of have a, a softness to them, um, which is a very strong Venus correspondence. And of course, with the manzanitas, along with its relative, the madrone, one of the first things most people notice about these herbs is the smoothness of the bark. And especially with the madrones, you know, as I've taken people on plant walks and shown them these trees, it's the first thing people do when they see those trees is they touch it, right? It's just that that um, sensory awareness of the plant and that, that sense of touch is also a Venus correspondence in that smoothness and, and especially with the madrones where we'll see that smooth bark and then kind of the peeling layers off of the side of it is a signature for the skin. And Venus is a strong rulership for the skin uh, as well as Saturn because that's the boundary of our physical body. Um, in terms of its medicinal attributes, we see another very strong relationship to Venus in that these, uh, the manzanita and the madrone, as well as its third cousin, um, uva ursi, um, these are all kidney remedies. So these are very strong antimicrobial, antibacterial remedies for the kidneys that have a long history of traditional use um, for, for use in, in treatment of um, issues in regards to the kidneys and the urinary tract. Um, so Venus and Libra um, are both ruling the kidneys in terms of medical astrology. And we see the Manzanita, the Madrone, as well as Uva Ursi have a constituent in it called Arbutin. And Arbutin is a very powerful antibacterial substance that has a specific affinity for the kidneys and the urinary tract. So I've, I love these manzanitas. They're so beautiful and they grow all over here in southern Oregon. And just the way, the way they hold that life throughout the winter and, and just have such a beautiful, soft, delicate presence. Um, and, and yet they hold a very powerful uh, therapeutic force within them. So anyways, just wanted to share a little bit about the Manzanita here. Um, again, if you haven't checked out the three-part video series that I've got posted at evolutionaryherbalism.com, be sure to check that out. In that video series, um, I go into detail in talking about a lot of these correspondences to the planets, to the elements, and to the three philosophical principles that we see universally reflected and expressed in herbal traditions, spiritual traditions, and science worldwide. So be sure to head over to evolutionaryherbalism.com, put your name and email in there, and, uh, and you'll get three free classes that I'll send to you over the next couple weeks. So thanks so much for joining me. Take care. Be well.